Okay, uh, a little bit of an update. Uh, you have to forgive me. It's uh, Friday night, <laughs> and I got four days off. So have I've had a few drinks. <laughs> so the last time I posted, I do believe. This long process was uh, because my eye pack took a dump. Well, I've got the uh, the new eye pack, and have also learned a ton of stuff in the process. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I've got it back to working with the joystick and that was essentially just for rapids okay there's your backlash watch see backlash god I fucking hate that shit but I put the backlash compensation in there just for time being um I don't really have a whole lot of carburetors to mill at this point so my assumption is that the table is going to come apart what I think is really cool is the fact that oh my god look at dude that screen or pfft, screen that floor is clean holy shit yeah it's stained over here but dude there's no chips so yeah just the fact that I put this here <laughs> I'm like that is badass because I was milling a carburetor body for the choke horn and all the chips were back here that was the goal among other things so I've got what's so cool is I've got your I've got all my uh, buttons assigned there's going to be other things assigned and I've already implemented them is when you go to rewind your program on Mach, Mach 3 a solid button go to XYZ0 program base not home, not machine based that's what this is going to be here uh, feed rate up and down but you know some of the screen sets that I've figured out I've also realize a lot of this stuff really isn't necessary due to the fact that I have a touch screen. But you know every time I uh, deal with these screen sets I'm just I find one that uh, is so cool. I, I am really digging this one. Um, there's a lot of things that I just think is really neat your what you got your last wizard Lowe's wither little bit of later Con conversational I'm not I have yet to do that I don't know what that is but we're gonna figure it out once I get my limit switches in my soft limits machine coordinates all that shit's gonna apply um, of course the spindle speed isn't gonna matter for me I'm gonna have a treadmill motor to where I can adjust this and the RPM will be here it'll be manually I some stuff I like analog some stuff I like digital so you know what it amounts to it's kind of what what a guy likes you know um, this one here probably it's not going to establish here but I did marry you know the cycle start this is default you know nothing to feed hold feed hold and and all this stuff is default it's a cycle start that you have to uh, take your screen set in the mock and edit it and find the hotkey and versus the eye pack and then you can put the cycle start on that was my biggest deal so there's a lot to come I think for this 
you know, Ron Collin Mill, I mean, everybody's got one, but I think it's just going to be a neat deal. You know, my biggest obstacle right now is obviously uh, the ball screws. I don't have to deal with the backlash. And then also, when once that comes apart, what's going to happen is I'm going to do a... Um, whether it's a, like what Haas Machine did, you know, it's like a little 12 volt fuel pump. So you have a 12 volt power supply, and then I'm gonna have a hopefully a hard button on here to where be oiler. I can hit that momentarily, and then it will oil the ways and the ball screws at the same time. So that's a hope, but you know, if I don't get there, I'll have a you know a deal down here to where I can manually uh, pump the ways for whey oil. So. Uh, you know, if I get there, that's great. If not, whatever. But, you know, the the other thing that I want to accomplish is, well, all this is coming off. All these pulleys are coming off. That's going to be one motor, and then I'll dial in the RPM by a treadmill motor. And there's your, right here, that's your uh, speed controller. But uh, where I was going with this was, uh, I forgot. <laughs> um, uh, what was it? It's just one of them things that so many things are going on at once. You just kind of, I want to be there and be turnkey, and it just it's not happening for me fast enough. So I still have a solenoid that I got to add in for my air blow. Oh, that's what it was. What I think is cool is. <laughs> For me, this vise, I really dig it, this vise, because I designed it around my enclosure. Um, it's a quick, you know, I can pull that up. Basically what happens is this, you know, that moves and you have cogs. And you have a limit of travel in this ball or this lead screw. So what I did was obviously I chewed up all these to my mill um, I thought at one time I was gonna get a Kurt vise but those the foot pattern of those aren't gonna really work so I got the speed handle off eBay it's a Shars for it was like 19 bucks I mean the fact that the inertia on this thing that I would have to machine and the way the material I just I look at that and go there's no way so what I ended up doing was I was gonna do a you know that is so nice cuz when I build a bracket down here sits so there right to your lefty or whatever but left of the vise and then uh but what I did is I pulled this lead screw out cut it off I had probably an inch inch and a quarter of travel so I took a cap screw, bored that little lead screw, and then uh, welded it all in. And then now it's internal because what I was going to do was have this and be a half round deal and then with a grommet. I was going to do that, but I didn't like that idea. So I just ended up going this route. And that seems to work really nice. So I'm kind of digging the build, but, you know, with some of the work going on, Here's a pretty bitchin' carb. Uh, it's about half done, three quarters done. So yeah, got a Fourth of July weekend going on, and uh, got a few upgrades on the mill, and really digging this screen set. I love it. I've got about ten screen sets to try out, but I'm thinking that's gonna be my one, and I'm gonna edit accordingly. Another little doozy that I got is my uh, Z setter for my uh, tooling I hope to get you know to the point where I can I don't have a tool changer of course it's gonna have this thing is eventually gonna have a draw bar um, power draw bar of course error and then I'm gonna have <laughs> 
you know all this is going to be eliminated this whole cover everything the switch for the AC motor all this crap is going to be have one shroud basically so my thought is is I'll have for my tool changer I'll have my air solenoid knob pull out release tool pull in you know whatever cuz all my tool rack is up here um that's the goal whether I get there or not I don't know we'll see so I guess the rundown is the success of my uh, iPack purchase because the old PS2 style hookup seemed to take a dump and I bought another one which is up to date uh, but what I'm facing now is right now is on this round column we all know that the round column is kind of limited in the fact that you know your workpiece you have say from you know if you offset your tools here from zero I got roughly six inches okay which is not really a big issue to be quite honest but um, what I'm running into now is I'm trying to find on YouTube the bracketry on all the other axes that's no big deal I can build brackets for home and limit but what I'm trying to find is I'm gonna home it in the positive direction on the Z and then I'll limit on the a negative direction but since there's a round column you know you really I'm drawing kind of a blank on the on the Z axis as far as um, home switches so there's anybody out there maybe post and maybe kind of direct me in the right direction I don't know so that's about it thanks